Hey guys, Arzen here. So you guys know that I love handhelds, I love reviewing them, but more than that I love designing them. This is a handheld that I've built two years ago, it can run N64, PSP, Dreamcast and NDS almost flawlessly. And right now I'm still designing other handhelds and trying to find the right one to turn it someday into a Kickstarter and actual product in you guys' hands. So if any one of you wants to donate or help out in any way possible, check the description down below and I'll be very grateful and still working hard on my next handheld. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Now I call this handheld the Emulation Boy. In front of you you have the hardware and specs that I used to build it. If you want to check out the building log, feel free to do so in the description below. I also made a circuit diagram that's in the description down below and also the codes for the controller Arduino. Now, to be able to do this on your own, you'll have to have a little bit of experience with C++ coding and um, be able to deal a little bit with Linux and configuring it because all the emulators will not be working properly at first you have to configure and change a lot of parameters for it to work properly and to recognize the controls and to have the right resolution etc so even though i was an electric engineering student at the time i didn't know how to solder so this handheld was my first soldering project and also my first encounter with the raspberry pi 3 and arduino so when it was completed and worked properly, I was so happy, I got hooked instantly and never really stopped thinking about building handhelds afterwards. Now after finishing the Emulation Boy project, I wanted to work on something that's more powerful. So I started looking into Orange Pies and it hasn't been working out that great for me, but I started on it regardless and right now it starts to look a little bit more promising because the developers are showing it a lot more love now. But while I was working on it, I found out that the Raspberry Pi 4 came out and I'm considering switching the whole project over to the Raspberry Pi 4. The official RetroPie image has not been released yet, but soon it will be released and then it might be a game changer for me as well. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that project. And uh, once I finish it, I'm going to show it off in a video. So I hope you guys look forward to that. There are a lot of modifications that I did to the Raspberry Pi 3 board. But next time I'm going to actually keep everything as stock as possible and just create a circuit that attaches to the Raspberry Pi and makes it, makes it very easy to assemble for production reasons. Keeping that in mind, I'll design this um, current handheld and we'll see where I go from there. I've also learned from this project that there are more efficient ways of drawing power to the circuit board. Without using the Adafruit 1000C, it's first of all quite expensive and second of all not the best way. Alright guys, that's it for now. Thank you for watching the video, please like, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.